everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I just wanna take you for a couple of days in our life as we uh, do a couple of Christmas things. Mr. Yoro's over there, half knocked out, woo woo. We just got home from it's been a long day. shopping. Shopping, church, food, it was good. Yeah, and I don't know if I've shown our Christmas decorations. Of course, our house is like half messy right now. Mm -hmm. And there's like my Christmas sweater that I was wearing today, but since I haven't shown you, let me just do like a little small tour of the Christmas decor. So in our couch, I, I know there's a mess, but whatever. There is these pillows that I actually made three of them. I'll show you what the third one is at. This is a table runner from I think Dollar General that I bought. And basically this is the back layer and the front layer. And what you do is that you just pull them apart. They kind of come stuck together. And then I cut it into three sections and then I hot glued the seams after I stuffed it with cotton. I did this like probably a first year married. Oh, first Christmas. Yeah. Our very first Christmas. We did a lot of DIY stuff, a lot. A lot of DIY stuff and this Daniel's mom gifted us for this year. So I strung it up here. It's these beautiful, I don't know, like rustic bells. Super pretty with the checkered. Checkered is like a big theme for us on Christmas. So there's that. And I'll definitely show you guys some shot while everything is dark. But then I got that from Walmart. Those are like $5. And I love the, um like i find things that have like words and stuff that can be kind of cheesy but it's so cheesy that i love it <laughs> and i love the frame that is just like a natural wood tone and then there's just little touches of christmas daniel's mom got me that as well that i bought a little while back and it has a little light in the inside and then here i have it's florida so we don't have a fireplace but that's where i put our stockings that's mine that's daniel's and then our tree we don't have a fireplace, but you, you, you best believe I'm going to go on YouTube and put a fire pit on the TV. <laughs> we do it all the time, like a fire situation. And we like the ones with the crackling fire sound. It's super loud. Yeah, right? yeah. We, we make believe that we're getting yeah. some loveliness. But that's our tree. That's Daniel's. I have to show you guys this. How cute is this? This is the Hogwarts, um, Hogwarts Express lego set that daniel put together and it is just so cute and it doesn't like necessarily look like legos at least the train and i love it so it's part of our little decor here and it's so cute there's harry um and it's just adorable i love this thing <laughs> a little dementor and everything included anyways so um the theme for our tree this year is every year i pretty much just add to it every year and now i feel like we have a full christmas tree but it's like red i love as you can tell and classic <laughs> daniel classic christmas colors like if like my sister's tree is all gold and neutral and stuff and i'm like no i, I need color and like make it feel farmhousey like you're in a cabin so yeah that's our theme some natural tones right there, but then also just the classic, you know, checkered print Christmas. We had to, we just had to. And then black and white is also part of the theme, but then also some off-white colors and like natural textures. Yeah, love it. I made that bow up there. My mom used to make one like that for many, many years until she changed up her decorations. So my childhood, we would have one like that every single year. And so she taught me how to make it. My mom and I usually decorated the tree together and my sister would step into these ornaments I made when Danny and I were running a woodworking business together. Um, but unfortunately after he got sick, that had to be put on hold. So Daniel cut these up for me himself and kind of etched them so that they would have. Actually, some of these I cut myself. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, and then with the Cricut, I made a stencil and yeah, we love sold that. A bunch of them that first year. Huh? We sold a bunch of them. The oh first yeah, year. and I sold yeah I sold many of those. Yeah, and then just like kept some for myself. Thirty or forty of them. Yeah. It was a lot. I remember because they were uh, uh, we were making them so much. I was like, I I, I think I want to quit. <laughs> I think I did like three orders, but each order had like fifteen or twenty. Yeah, because yeah. they were trying to fill their trees. But that's the tree. Just a little hack here. 
I saw this on, I think, TikTok last year. Basically, like all of the, the ribbon sections, which this ribbon I think is from like Dollar Tree or something. You cut them into like small sections. It's probably a foot of ribbon. ribbon. Thank you. What are words? And what you do is that you just cut them. And then on the ends, you have to do wire ribbon for like the tree. And if not, you're not going to get that shape. So it has to be wired ribbon. But then the ends, you just kind of twist them like you would. I don't know. You just twist them. And then you just tuck them into the tree. Super easy. And then it helps create those loops that you see. Super easy. Very cohesive. Yeah. If not, it's really hard to take real. I mean, you can certainly do it without cutting the ribbon. It's just the way I saw someone do it on TikTok, and it, it is so easy. And then I ended up doing it after I decorated the tree. So it was so hard to get them in there, but whatever. And then this tree is really it's from my childhood so my mom had this tree for many many years she bought a new one and when i got married she gifted me this one so it's not like a very modern tree but i love it it's from when i was a kid so and then we didn't have to buy one when we first got married the next thing here this shelf is quite interesting we have a whole village right here so daniel has been working on all these legos buying them little by little um and this is kind of what keeps him busy when he's not feeling well. And the last couple of weeks, he has been very sick. So these are all the Lego sets put together. This is, I don't know, is this Hogwarts? No, I mean, not Hogwarts, but like Harry's house. Yeah. That's Harry's house. This is, um, why can't I remember anyone's names? No, 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 the, the, the hut or whatever. Hagrid's. Oh, Hagrid's hut. Yeah, and then like a little bit of the castle. And then I just added like Christmas trees and um yeah so it's just a bunch of lego sets from harry potter and it's our christmas village i know they have a christmas not a christmas but like a wintry village we just haven't gotten it yet and then i have here my beautiful nativity scene from walmart and i got this one because it's geared towards little kids for my niece and nephew to look at so hopefully they get to visit us soon and then just books and there's the other pillow so but I'm really excited because we just went to Target and the best spot to find little like Christmas decor pieces is the dollar spot or whatever that's called right by the entrance of the store. So we picked out some wreaths, not like we need any more decoration, but these were like $5. Like how pretty, I don't even know if you can see it. There you go, now you can see Joy. And they also had another one that was black, but Daniel picked this one because we're kind of obsessed with red for the holidays, even though it's a bit much at this point so i'm gonna try to find a spot in the house to put this one. We are out and about. It is 6.19 p.m. and we just got Starbucks. Um, I, I say we, but Daniel doesn't like Starbucks no. and I don't even drink coffee. I just love their hot chocolate. Like it's cute. McDonald's. And then I have to go every year and see what the cups look like because I'm a weirdo like that. <laughs> uh, we got a cute little holiday sweater going on here. I got this a couple years back because we, we did it for work. It's from Walmart. I love this thing. Um, Daniel's rocking the same clothes. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered. Nope. But the fun part is that they messed up our order. No, they didn't mess up our order. The guy in front of us messed up and didn't tell them he had a mobile order. So he accidentally paid for our drinks. And then they messed up my drink. And it's like we ordered a tall, I mean a grande, and they gave us a tall. So then they had to fix it and gave us another grande. So now we have like the small size hot chocolate and then a medium size hot chocolate and Daniel's not gonna drink it one because he can't because of his kidneys he can't drink chocolate or have chocolate he doesn't like chocolate anyways um so now I have two hot chocolates I gotta work on so so, so, sad. so, sad. so sad I am so heartbroken <laughs> 
but we're gonna go look at Christmas lights. We just stopped at Walgreens to, um, well, I was supposed to pick up meds for Daniel, but the pharmacy closed super early. We were there like at, what, five, no, six. like like at six, and the pharmacy was already closed, and I thought they closed at, at least at seven. Usually they close at nine, right? Uh, yeah, normally. Oh, yeah. But Fun fact. Weekend, so. Oh, that's true. Fun fact, Mr. Yoro over here used to work at that exact location um, before he got sick um, as a shift manager. I am so afraid to drink this because literally I'm like touching the cup and I'm like the cup is burning me. So, okay. so take by the time. way, how cute are their cups this year? Adorable. They're adorable. You gotta talk to your brother, see, see who organizes that. Yeah, like these are super cute. Anyway. So I am. I'm feeling it. I am a complete fanatic of this season of Christmas. It was something I was just talking to Carla about of Christmas, um, the end of the year stuff, like Christmas, New Year's. Like once we hit like just after Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving's cool. I'm just not that big of a fan, but it's cool. I don't mind it. Um, but after we get over Thanksgiving, like actually when we're close to um, Halloween like my spirits start lifting like i start getting ready for christmas for new years for all the stuff for the festivities for the lights i i'm a fiend when it comes to it like um my family is my my older sister my mother my little brother um we've always been that way and i it's funny because i'm a big guy you know i'm six two i lost a lot of weight but um you wouldn't i don't think you'd think if, if you was to look at me and stuff like that you wouldn't think oh this guy's like a big uh a big like he loves gingerbread houses and and putting christmas lights and christmas decorations and and he wants to dress up for the holiday like you wouldn't think that way but i am that way um so we're actually at this thing called santa's house by the break Dads or something like that and it's this family from what I read that they have been doing this for 27 years and they put on this really big Christmas display and I believe Santa's supposed to be here today from 7 to 8 for the kids to take pictures and stuff like that so I just thought that that was super cool it's a family that does it and so we don't know oh my god we're pulling up on it and it is so cute and so there's like people just pulled up this is like a neighborhood this is like the cutest thing it's, it's just this house. neighborhood and they just decorate the house really nice i just love that that that's festive Super that festive. kind of diy home thing but it's a second generation that's doing it now so it looks like we're gonna have to pull over and sometimes me and daniel will just literally get in the car like if we have to go get something at walgreens or whatever when i get out of work we will just drive around and go look at christmas lights like we love it our neighborhood this year has some really nice houses like some over the top houses and it's so cool because i feel like in previous years it wasn't like that but i feel like since the pandemic people just do more i don't know i think, I think everyone is yeah i think since the pandemic like one good thing that came out of it we would know a thing or two about that about what's come out of this whole thing but um one thing that i really love oh people are parking here but yeah. this is that's what i'm gonna park right now this right here park. isn't anyone's property babe this right here yeah that's fine yeah this right here is someone's property so okay. those people should be part but there's a fire hydrant so it's probably like from the fire hydrant it's not i don't even know what i'm saying but. um are you okay with helping in the school right yeah okay. uh -huh. i don't even remember. okay oh yeah yeah so i just feel like out of the pandemic people just kind of appreciate these type of things more and so our neighborhood was pretty pretty popping yeah our house is pretty popping <laughs> Wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light. I, I got Daniel Christmas lights for his scooter. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> working now though. They're so freaking cute, but like people can see him. Like, I feel better because this scooter doesn't really have lights. And then I put a lamp up at the top, or at the front. Should have looking like the Polar Express girl. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Guys, I love it. They're still playing like Disney music. Like house. So excited. And your bells, drinking hot wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. It's 
Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come on. We are, um like five minutes from our house at, at, at our downtown area. It's like really close to our house. And they have stuff decorated for Christmas and we love it, we really do. Yeah, they always decorate so pretty. Oh, I just love it. The city takes care of it. the downtown area Daniel stayed in the car <laughs> right over there but I am just walking around because I love coming here I'm gonna get some shots of the area because it's so pretty they have like a huge Christmas tree where the fountain is usually at super nice Currently in a cold front in Florida. It's like 50 something degrees out here. I'm cold. But over there on that window display, I'm trying to get it. They have a Christmas like Santa on the beach Lego situation going on. Like the like I'm trying to get it. Oh, like so cute. They're like <laughs> Alright, I know they're kind of crazy in this lighting, but um I'm just gonna close out the video here. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed coming alongside us in a day I, I thought it was gonna be a few days but we did a lot today um, of just doing kind of Christmassy things doing some shopping um, hanging out so I hope that you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching and enjoy the Christmas season it's only here for what a month or two and then it's gone and it's a time to hang out with family have fun enjoy the blessings that we have and for those of you who might find yourselves going through a lot of difficulty, kind of like we are as well, you know, we have a lot to be grateful for. And I think that's one of the things that really keeps us going in the time that we are living in. We count our blessings and that sounds so simple, but it is, it has been pivotal for Daniel and I to count our blessings, to be grateful for the, even the small things that we have. And a little outing like this where we didn't spend much money at all we actually stopped by to see my sister after we saw that christmas display because it's a little um it's like 10 minutes from our house and you know little outings like that that take no money at all but it's just hanging out with family and um doing something that makes us happy which is just go see christmas lights we just find the, the magic in it and, and the beautiful in it in the middle even of our hard season right you love Christmas, you're like I love Christmas. borderline obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fanatic. 
Muffin. <laughs> um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yes.